Hello everyone and welcome back to the barn. Today we're going to be learning about uh, colors for horses and markings on horses. Okay, so the first horse color we're going to talk about are gray horses. Dusty here is one of our three gray horses. And the fun thing about grays is that they aren't actually born white or gray. They're born a super dark color and then as they get older, their hair turns white. So we have a picture here of Dusty when he first came. And he, you can see that he's just a super dark gray, browny black color. And this picture here is from 2013. And now we have Dusty now in 2020, where he's a wise old man. Okay, and this here is Jay. He's one of our other gray horses. And so the same as with Dusty, when we first got him, he was a super dark color with a nice black mane and tail and legs. And, <laughs> and this is Jay in 2013. So he's gotten significantly whiter but still has a super dark black mane and some black on his legs. And this is Jay now, where he's mostly just white with some light grays. So he looks like the wise old sage that he is. Okay, so here we are with Elmer who is one of our three black horses. Now, as a general rule, black horses don't have any white on their body, except for on their face or sometimes on their legs. Also, some black horses are what you call faded black horses, where if you look at them in the light, the tips of their hair and their mane kind of looks a little brown, but they never fully change all the way to brown. Okay, so here we are with Axel and he is an excellent representation of what a bay horse is. So lots of our horses here aren't super fun colors. Most of them are some sort of brown color. Axel here is what we call a bay because he has black around his nose. He's got black mane and tail and black on his legs and the rest of his body is brown. So that's how you can determine which horse is a bay color because we'll have a brown body and then a black mane and tail and black legs. Here we are with Wolf, who is a wonderful example of a sorrel horse. So along with all those different brown colors, some horses are sort of a reddy brown, which we call a sorrel, like Wolf here. So their mane and body are usually all the same brown with sort of a reddish tint to it. Did it. So next we're going to learn about roan horses. So we have Rusty here who is our red roan. And with roans, they can be really any color, but they have a whole bunch of little white hairs flecked all through their coat. So it's not like they have white markings on them. They just have kind of highlights. So we have Rusty who is our red roan. And then I'll show you Ranger after this and he's our blue roan. So here we are with Ranger, our blue roan. And it's easier to see with the darker colors what I'm talking about with the little white hairs speckled all throughout them. And here we have Robin, who is one of our two distinguishable paint horses. So we have several horses here who are actually registered paints, but they don't display the usual paint coloring. They just have abnormal face markings. But Robin is one of our Tobiano paints. And so the difference between a Tobiano paint and Overo paint is that Tobianos, they will have white in a lot of the areas on their body and it also crosses over their spine. But they usually have the dark color around their eyes and on their face. Whereas Overo paints will have the color all along the top part of their body and the white never goes along their back and it kind of looks like someone took a can of paint and just threw it at them. So Vero paints have lots of just random obscure splotches of color on them whereas Tobiano paints like Robin here have the bigger more distinct colors on them. So here we are with April, one of our Clydesdales and so she is an Overo paint because the white does not go along her back and she just has these kind of like indistinct little white splotches like someone just took white paint and just kind of threw it at her. We're here with Pacha now who is our one and only buckskin horse 
And so the difference between a buckskin and a palomino is palominos have a whitish gold color on their body and also a yellow mane, whereas buckskins have the light golden body and then black in their mane. Pacha has the white in his mane as well because he's a fjord, so that's just what their breed goes with. And then sometimes they'll also have tall black markings on their legs or almost like zebra stripes on their legs. All right, so we just went over the different colors of horses and now we'll quickly go over the different markings that they can have. So first we'll talk about their leg markings. So you can see here that Cruz has these two beautiful white feet. These are his socks. And so socks can either be all this white, just this bottom part here white, or they can also extend further up the leg. So here we have Wyoming. And you can see that his white on his legs extends higher up. And so we would call these stockings because they go further up his leg, just like you would have knee socks that would go further up your legs. So here we have Tex, who has the horse equivalent of wearing tube socks. So you just go halfway up. So if you remember, Cruz's white went up to here, Wyoming's white was up to here, and Tex has the one right in the middle. Okay, so we just went over leg markings, and now we'll go over the face markings. And we'll start with Tex here, who has a two for one. So he has the white right in the middle of his face, which is called a star. It's just nice and small. And he also has the white on the tip of his nose, which is called a snip. And then if we go over here to April and Irish, April has what we call a bald face, which is where the white goes almost all the way around her eyes. But then Irish has a beautiful example of a blaze where it's just white right down the very middle of her face. The wolf here has a great example of a stripe. So it's a, so it's a lot thinner than a blaze, but it still goes all the way down from between his eyes to his nose.